Alex, Richard, uh, overtime seems to be a thing for the Devils this year, and this year it's three wins from three now. Four three wins tonight with the Slough Jets. Yeah, they a great result. Um, tough place to come. I think they've got a pretty good team there and uh, a great coach. So um, to be so short again, I know we keep bringing that up, but we are down to the, the minimum. And I uh, felt the guys stuck in really well. We had some good chances. They got we played well. So did ours, by the way. But um, to get it to overtime, you know, we was great. And then obviously for Richard to get the game winner there, you know, it's a great feeling. And yeah, 11 and 0. Obviously, after a few recent games where it's been a bit of a goals first, more of a defensive battle tonight, wouldn't you say? Well, it's always going to be. You know, we haven't got enough guys to generate that offence and uh, consistently it was just about making sure we kept the game tight and quiet and um, you know, take, it, take it down to the wire and we did that. The goal was pretty good tonight as well. I mean, both goalies like that. That's Mill kid made a lot of big saves on some pretty key plays. So, you know, big, big pop for the goalies tonight as well. I was going to say, the overtime winner tonight scored by yourself, Richard. Uh, overall, how do you feel the game went? Uh, well, we won, right? We won, we came out, we got the points. You know, that's what we're looking at. To be, to be quite honest, the first period, I thought we came out and played really well. Played really well, and then ended up 1-0 down. And then the rest of the game, we didn't probably play as well as we had in the first, but managed to win two other well, periods and then draw a period, right? So sometimes that's the way it goes. But we, we, like, like Alex said, like, we came here with five guys or whatever it was. Absolutely great at our teeth, got the points and I Obviously, last week you mentioned Alex that tonight was more about the win and also about avenging last year, which stung, I think, everybody in the team last year. How does tonight feel? After yeah, that? a lot of the guys were ecstatic over there, but um, the funny thing is they're already talking about next weekend, so that's the, that's the great thing about us. And the guys are not um, sitting and resting on their morals, we're already talking about next week's big double header. And, uh, that's the great thing. So that tonight was a great performance. It's a great feeling to win. Um, and yeah, but we've already, we've already turned our attention to next weekend. Well, you say that next weekend, obviously, for the both of you. Uh, the second game in, I believe it's five weeks against the Slam Jets. This time at home on the Saturday before arguably the toughest trip this year so far with a way to Stretton the Ice Hockey Club. How do you feel the weekend again? Well, excited. You know, it's, we, you want to play this game as much as you can to get two games in the weekend. It's going to be fun. We're playing two really good teams. We want to, you know, it's, a, it's really nice to be at 11 0, but the reality is it doesn't mean anything. You've just got to look to the next game, go down, bear down, and hopefully pick up some points next weekend. Yeah, I mean, like you said, we've we got to take the Saturday first, and we've got to look at Saturday. Well, it's practice, we look at both. We can't look ahead to Sunday yet, and um, realistically, it's a big, tough weekend, and we have to make sure that we're ready for Saturday, and after Saturday, we'll evaluate and look towards Sunday. Alex, Richard, well, yeah. Thanks very much, Joe.